Two Jam Gamers. Young Jam. Damn, they're possessed. Dedicated to Simon's quest. Never get tired of piercing Dracula's dinner vest. Back in the day, we used to beg our parents to let us rent NES games and hope they'd forget us. Snapping controllers, we're beating on my little brother. Being grounded from playing games is like no other punishment. After the first week of funlessness, loved my mom to death, but just wanted to punch the mat. Count to ten to try to calm down. Three hours later, I'm still pissed and looking to throw down. Exposed my four-year-old son to manhunt. Now he's pulling knives on his mom. I like his dad. Talk to you about the upcoming election. Yeah, right. Oh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm having a blast making these videos again. And uh, this one's actually... I like it when people ask me to review something. I mean, it's pretty cool. So, this one's for Supersonic... Tom Lad? I don't know. But it's for you, man. You wanted to see Master Darkness on the uh, SMS, so... I'm delivering. I did it once before, but that was before when I had to film the screen like a jackass. But now, I'm going to hook you up, dude. And um, also, Mr. McCain uh, asked me if I had the 3D glasses. What kind of Sega guy would I be without these puppies, huh? And I'll even do you one better. I actually don't even have any games for this anymore, but still pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is Master of Darkness for the Master System. Fun game, pick it up, get the emulator if you know you're not hardcore like me. So yeah, and also old school RC. This one's for you, bro. Now, why on earth am I showing you this? I promised you Master of Darkness and I deliver Castlevania? What the hell is going through my mind? Well, it's just a simple fact that if Castlevania wasn't so popular, Master of Darkness probably wouldn't have gotten made. But, Master of Darkness seems to be a lot better than this and uh, this is why I put this in first because I wanted to prove it all right smart ass now here we go see there's a backstory to this Castlevania you kind of just got to guess I know I say there's a lot of cool intros to these Master System games, but this one's bitchin'. See, it, give, it gives you a little... Oh, should I talk? Are you trying to read this? Ah, screw it. You can mute me out. So, um, this one actually has a cool backstory. It takes place like... It takes place during the Jack the Ripper era, you know? So, um, I don't know, I just think that's a lot cooler than being back on a, in a castle, you know, searching for Dracula. I mean, that's just so common. But this is, you know, this is just pretty original. That Ouija board's cool as hell. I swear to God, I'm not touching it. Are you? <laughs> Dracula. Alright. I'm guessing that's him. <laughs> Sorry. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. That was just the intro. I mean, you could skip all that crap if you, when you play the game. I just, you know wanted to show you so it takes place in London and um, your character is kind of uh, he's kind of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde I guess you know he doesn't really comprehend what he's doing 
But there you are. Now that city looks so damn cool. I don't know what's up with the faces, but uh, that steak I just picked up right now, that is like the best weapon in the game. And the game tries to screw you a few times because you start out with this puny little dagger. And um, if you don't pay attention and you, and you hit those faces, you might get that dagger again and it sucks. Oh shit, I almost got a gun. I was gonna bust a cap in these fools. <laughs> ah, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Total ripoff of Castlevania, but I don't care. This is fun. Damn it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see, the <laughs> a lot of similarities. And I'm even hitting the walls because those walls, uh, they kind of break and give you surprises. Like in... I'm not gonna... I don't want to say Castlevania anymore, screw it. But, anyhow, you got guys trying to shoot you. I don't really know what their story is. They're the G-Men. Damn it, what's up with all those flying jerks? That got you, you bastard. I'm a little rusty on this, man. I haven't played this in a while. Now I got, now I got my gun. <laughs> Shot that freaking dog. Now I'm gonna bust a cap in you bitches. Stupid mutt. Those dogs can be a real pain in the ass. The best. Si you know, the best uh, secondary weapon to get is a bomb. That's right, a bomb. And it's like a cartoon bomb. It's like a big bowling ball with a wick. <laughs> and he can carry like ten of them. He must have cargo pants. But the city, if you paid attention, there it goes the mall. Pay attention, the background kind of changes. It's not just like cookie cutter backgrounds, you know. The first backgrounds had the brick buildings. Now you kind of have the brownish building, wooden things going on. And yeah. So it changes up a bit. Ooh, a new high score. I don't keep track. All right, I just cut ahead a little bit here. I'm in a wine cellar. It's probably absinthe. I'm gonna drink a barrel of it and cut his ear off. I'm gonna hatchet that dog. See, the axe is pretty cool, but it's not the best weapon. It, strange enough, that stake is the best weapon in the game. It has the reach and I got you. Uh, it has the reach and it'll uh. What am I trying to say? And it'll kill people like in one hit, so it's cool. But that hatchet just looks cool. See? There they go. They're trying to screw me with that puny dagger. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Ah, uh, here comes Jack the Ripper, man. They actually found him. See? I'm just freaking bombing his ass. Oops, ran out. I don't have to just cut him. <laughs> <laughs> Die, sucker! <laughs> Straight hit him in the crotch with an axe. Ah, uh, he's dead. <laughs> See, this game's awesome, you know? It gives you a story with it. You know how games now have cinematics? Well, this was like ahead of, ahead of the curve, you know? They're giving you a story between the levels, and you kind of have a... You kind of have like a you know a cool idea of what is going on. You have a plot. You're not just randomly going in and killing things. But here's a second level. I'm gonna cut it short because I don't know. I don't want to rant too long. Hey, look, a naked lady up there. I'll be damned. See you guys later.